Hi, I'm Jill from Flowers by Me and today we're going to make a Halloween door wreath. Um, for that we need some foliage. Um, I sprayed this black just with um, black spray paint uh, so you can sort of see that effect there. And of course you need some artificial birds. Uh, I pre-wired these so we'll go through that now. Um, and a wreath ring base, some wire, a roll of wire and of course your scissors. So um, first we're going to start just prepping our material and I got these um, birds just on Amazon um, and I think five or six came in the packet so I've just used some stub wire to um, just make them longer so that I can um, place into the wreath. So in order to do that, we take our wire, um, and this sounds kind of awful, but uh, we're going to <laughs> wrap it around the bird's feet. And then just twist around so that it's secure. And then that's how we bird wired. So we're gonna use this part um, of the wire. Sorry, there's lots of feathers whistling about the place. We're gonna use this part of the wire to um, insert into the wreath and then that's what's gonna make it secure. So I just have one more of these to do. So again, we just wrap the wire around the feet. Twist. And then that's our wee bird. Ready to um, be used in the wreath. So this, um, this foliage that I sprayed, and I just got a tin of spray paint out of home base that I sprayed it. Um, there is a waste of spray paint that you can use for foliage. Um, this has a sort of glossy finish, which I thought would be quite nice. Um, so what we're gonna start to do, first of all, is we're gonna take our wire, if I can find the end, and we're going to attach it to the wire ring wreath base. So just wrap it around three times, and then that's your wire secure. It'll be like that. Now, I'm going to mix this in just with foliage from the garden um, and some stuff that I left over. So what we want to do is we want to just chop up the foliage Clear the end stems again so that you have about an inch to grab onto. Grab onto? To hold onto. And what we are going to do is we're going to sort of angle the foliage on the wreath base like that. And then we're going to secure it with the wire. We're going to bind it on. And we're just gonna repeat that process, but we're always going to sort of do alternate, alternate sides, just so that it's full. And I'm gonna mix in some foliage. Now, the look that I'm going for with this is that this is kind of like a nest. Almost so you can add in some straw, you can add in some dried material, you can add in twigs. Um, there's lots of different things that you can add in. You can also add in some skeletons and <laughs> some different things that are, are whatever your personal taste is. And we're just continuing to bind that round. I'm going to add in the birds after I finish the foliage part. purpose of always sort of swapping the direction of the foliage that you're going in is to fill out the ring base. And you can chop right down and use all of your foliage. You don't have to be. There should be no real waste with this, which is good. Wow. 
that's what we're looking like at the moment. So you've got sort of the black foliage peeping out amongst the green. You might want to go completely um, all black foliage, which is fine and it would be really cool. Continuing to do the same process in the whole way around. So we're coming to the end here. actually um, bare branches on this eucalyptus so I'm going to add those in as well just to add some some texture and to keep the sort of vibe of a bird's nest the end of the wreath and you're binding around your wire it does it does get a little bit trickier so you just have to keep your starting point back so that you don't bind over it twice so this is our last off you just snip your wire and then sort of to secure it just go back on yourself so that's what we have at the moment I'm just going to check it out in my mirror so I'm happy with that there's a little bit here that I think could be fuller so what I'm going to do is get some foliage and just wire in. So this whole process can be used for your Christmas wreaths. Um, for those, because they're on the door for longer, we would tend to, uh, to moss that wreath up. Um, but it's a really versatile process. is our wreath. Now to add the birds. So I seen a really cool um, image on Pinterest and all the birds were facing in as if they were feeding into the um, into the nest. For this one I think we'll just I, I, I think I need more to do so we'll just have these 
sitting in at different angles. Um, now what you can do is recess these closer in and then have some sort of out a little bit more, standing out so that'll give the, your wreath a little bit of depth. And how you secure them is you punch the, uh, the um, wire through and then sort of feed it back on itself and sort of attach it to or the wire frame itself. We're going to put two up here. <laughs> These birds really scare me. <laughs> I am frightened. So if you have, um, if you've decorated your home with your Halloween decorations already, you can add in and have some left over, you can add in some spare. I think that looks pretty spooky. I'll show you what it looks like up on the door. But you can add in um, some cobwebs or some mini girds or you know just decorate your door with pumpkins and nice candles and um, what how we are going to attach it to the door will be ribbon and um, so with this one you can tie on to the wire and frame at the back and um, or you know I probably should have done them at the start because I've forgotten it already but um, that's how you can you'll tie it on but I'll show you the finished piece up on the door. All right, happy Halloween.